Hey, this is Austin Tomasu. This is lab number two for the uh, pneumatic system over here. And we have our, our um, main control unit here with this, the air. And um, we're investigating basically the relationship between pressure and flow. And uh, what this does is pretty much just inject pressure into the system. So we'll start with that. We'll turn this bad boy on. And as you can see, the pressure gauge reaches about 15-ish, runs through there. And this is what controls the flow. This is our flow control. But right now we're at 100%. This controls the rate of how, fat, how much air is going through. So for example, we're decreasing it to about 50%. And then it runs through here. This is what we call our tool gauge, so to speak. Um, we're reading about, yeah, maybe about two PSI on there. This actually measures our flow gauge over here, our uh, flow rate. So we're still at about zero. And in response, we have our actuator about 50%. So right now, we're gonna keep the same PSI on the control unit, and we're gonna raise the flow to 100%. And we should see our flow gauge raise up. So right now, it's at 100%. Our PSI on our tool gauge also rose up very slightly, about 5 PSI. And now we have readings about 20 liters per minute on our flow gauge and 100% actuator speed. So the relationship between flow and, and pressure is that the more, the more flow you have, the less pressure you have. Uh, we did a test earlier where one of our peers held held the, uh, the return line with his, his finger, cutting off all the flow that's returning. But in response, the pressure gauge actually just skyrocketed a bit.